Hello everyone, my name is Bowden and welcome back to my playthrough of Doom 64. Today's level number 10, the bleeding. It's actually a very interesting level and we start in this room with two doors. It doesn't matter which door you take because There will be imps on each side of this door, of these two doors. Oh, I was thinking, what was that teleporter sound? And looks like that teleporter teleported this backpack which is really nice to have. Over here you can grab the secret item, which is the Berserk pack, but uh, I think I'm not going to use it here. And over here you can grab the Plasma Rifle, which is another secret item. Now, let me just kill these uh, Pinkies with the chainsaw. All right. Now, when the pinkies are dead, you can open, access the next area. But before we go there, can we stop a little bit and take a look at this view? I really like the aesthetics of this level. Just look at this. At this. It's really amazing. I like those mountains, red mountains, and all this uh, uh, like a mix of green and blue colors. It blends really well. Really, really nice. Especially this area. I really like levels like this. Levels that looks that look amazing. All right, now let's proceed with our playthrough. The next area to go is this one. As you can see, there's a small yard outside, but uh, it mostly blocked. So the only way to go is over here with some nightmare imps. When you go inside, these stairs will raise up and... Oh. We have a couple of Hell Knights here. I will get to that Mega Armor shortly, but first let me take care of these Hell Knights. And up above, be sure to press this switch. Oh, there's one more helmet which I forgot about. But that's okay. This switch will teleport in a lot of enemies. But before we get to them... By the way, this door is blocked. You cannot open it. Let me grab that mega armor. It's a secret item and when you're up about there's one more secret over here. If you take a look at the map, this area is marked. It actually cannot be open like that, but if you come to the to the tile that is next to it, which is this one, and press it, the area will be opened and you can grab the secret item. Press the switch to escape this room. Now let's take care of these appeared enemies. I like to fight them from up above because it's very interesting. Looks like Mancubai will 
damage or kill some of the enemies for us. But apparently they cannot be in fighting. Let me switch to the chain gun for a brief moment. I know, I know, the screen is moving heavily when you fire the chain gun, but that's just how this game works. This courtyard or outer yard is really cool. I mean, looks very nice. I like it. Let, let me quickly collect all the items and small ammo items over here. So now the next area would be this one, but before we go there, let me quickly check the center area. Yes, see, in addition to the ammo that we saved earlier, there's a soul sphere, which I need. Now, pressing this switch will reveal a lot of lost souls, which will be coming out. Actually, they are not coming out of these windows. So at the design of this level it's really amazing also by the way here we have another secret just open this world to collect the energy cell pack which is a secret item More lost souls. And the lost souls are really annoying in this game. I should tell you. Oh, there are ammo items outside. Let me go and collect them. I still hear some enemies, I don't know. They are probably over here. Oh, there you are. Okay. And finally we get to this. Oh no. I switched to wrong man. I always like water floors in uh, in the levels and look at this water floor it actually has current which is really nice look at this area very very nice now this uh, portrait is actually animated it will be looking at you from time to time you have to press it in order to reveal the next area with that. And look at that, what is that? It's actually a BFG. But before we grab it, I'd like to go over here and meet those two barons. I think there's a good time of using my 
on me. Alright. So now let's finally grab the BFG. Of course I played uh, this level when I was practicing so the achievement is already collected here but anyway if you play this game you know that there's an achievement of uh, grabbing the BFG. Now let's go over here and press the switch because the switch will get us access to this area with another switch now we have a lot of enemies over here and uh, I'm thinking that I could use a BFG again over here I took some damage, but that's okay. Oh. Hello, demon. Where did you come from? Anyway. Now the exit is revealed. And we can finally exit this area. Except I want to make sure that I grabbed every secret here, because I'm not sure of that. Let, let's, let me quickly go and see if I didn't miss anything. I got that. I think I did not. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. Sorry for that. It's you cannot see whether you have all the secrets or not in this version of the game, but that's okay. Now we can finish this level. It was level number 10, the bleeding. As I already told you, um I like the aesthetics of this level, all those interesting colors the combination of blue and uh, green is my fair probably my favorite color i don't know it should have like uh, a special name for that type of color let me know if you know the name of this color but yeah and uh, the gameplay and of course the bfg that we've finally collected and will be able to use for the rest of this game I hope you liked this playthrough. I will see you in the next level, which would be the Terror Core, level number 11. Thanks for watching. My name is Bodan. Bye bye, everyone.